많이 했을지언정 조일장 선수보다는 네, 심리적으로 좀 뒤져있다 이렇게 봐야 될것 같아요. 그렇죠. 유철 선수가 그래도 어느 정도 오프라인에 대한 자신감이 어느 정도 많이 생긴 것 같아요. 이번 비사를 통해서. 네, 이제 경기력을 보면 알 수가 있고 만약에 긴장이라든가 사실 긴장을 하게 되면 이게 아무 생각 없이 그냥 멍해지잖아요. 아, 근데 그렇게 멍해지면 사실 이게 경기 시간이 오래 지속이 되고 그러면 더욱더 집중력이 필요할 때할거 음. 못하게 되는데 장전에서도 윤찬 선수였던 아, 집중력이 사실 돋보여서 네, 이번 경기도 좀 기대가 됩니다. 네 맞습니다. 자 조일재 선수가 이제 아, 손을 다푼것 같고요. 네. 자 픽세스타레그 4강에 오를 선수는 누가 될지 어, 뭐 저희도 경기 전부터 굉장히 기대가 됩니다. 아, 조일재 선수 들어왔네요. 네, 윤찬 선수를 응원하고 있습니다. 맞습니다. 오늘 유시현 선수 팬들도 굉장히 많이, 많이 왔고 조일정 선수 팬들도 굉장히 많이 왔습니다. 네. 네, 뭐 끝나고 전모를 한다고 이런 소리들이 있더라고요. 그렇군요. 자, 픽스타리그 8강 A조 경기입니다. A조 유찬이와 조일정, 조일정, 유찬이와 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 The round of eight draw turned out. We have no mirror matchups. Um, everything seems fairly interesting. Uh, even even like Bisu versus Larva, which I I assume most people are kind of writing off as as a free win for Bisu. Um, given how hard Larva seems to be uh, seems to be practicing for these things, I don't know. I think he might be able to pull at least a couple of at least one win, let's say, and, and a few good games against Bisu. So that could be quite interesting. Also. You know, given the whole, uh, you know, former teammate, current practice partner dynamic between them, I think, uh, I think Bisu might try some silly things and maybe, maybe have, you know, have a little bit of fun. Anyway, um, that's 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 not going to be until Thursday. Uh, for today, we have this match here versus Mong, and then we're going to be having Haya versus Movie, I believe. Uh, after this, I assume these are both best of fives. I haven't actually confirmed this. I should also uh, I should also check the map pool, but uh, but there doesn't actually seem to be a live board thread yet, which is you know where I get all my handy information. Maybe there is one now. Let me just have a quick look. Um, does not appear to be. So I guess we'll just find out then. We'll see what maps we end up playing on, or not we, but what maps the uh, two players end up playing on. Uh, the first map, though, is going to be missed. The starting map for um, pretty much all the series or the groups, the best of threes in the group so far. Um, funky two-player map, but we've only seen a couple of games where that really came into play. Now, in terms of uh, the records in the tournament so far, Hero's done pretty well for himself, but he hasn't played any ZBTs yet in this SSL, <clears throat> and that is um, that is his weakest matchup. Whereas Mong. Uh, not only is TVZ his best matchup here, but he's already knocked Killer out of the tournament. Killer, of course, uh, the two-time champion coming into this uh, into this season of SSL and, and getting knocked out first round. Very, very surprising. And of course, Mom did his little interview thing where he said, you know, sorry for knocking out Killer, I'm going to try and do really well now to make up for that. And it looks like he's going to scout a two-hatch build here from Hero. Uh, presumably some two hatch muta. The air to air distance between the mains is relatively short on this map, so I think it's a, a pretty good strategy. Um, and in the meantime, is that a CC first from Mong? I'm looking at the mini map. I don't see a barracks, but uh, there's probably a barracks in the main because that, that's I think CC first would be faster than that. It's probably just a one racks expand. And the commentators aren't the Korean commentators aren't freaking out about it, so I'm gonna go ahead and assume that's a one rex expand. I just missed the barracks because I was not paying attention. Yeah, that's what that is. Okay, yeah, this is the barracks. Sorry, it was just a little bit too close to the mineral line, so I couldn't see it on the mini map. Um, so it looks like we got a lair morphing up at the natural. The SCB, of course, is gonna see that, but he know he knows what's going on anyway. Seeing that gas with no third hatchery, he knows exactly what's going on. Now I, I assume it's a uh, two hatch muta, of course, but we did recently see Zero um, in his round of 16 games go for uh, lurker openings twice against uh, against which Terran was it? Let me actually have a look. Uh, was it against Mong or was it against Haya? No, it was against Haya. Okay, so um, so yeah, Zero did that as well against Haya, uh, and then against Mong, Zero went for mutas anyway, and then kind of failed at that. So 
That was kind of silly. <clears throat> anyway. Do, 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 do. Looks like uh, Hero's actually taken his third hatchery on the inside mineral only at the top left. I am not sure how I feel about this. Um, it is quite a fast third hatchery there. Uh, but in general, if you're going to be playing a, a more... Um, it feels weird saying this, but a more macro focused two hatch muta. So you know you're not going for like a two hatch muta ling all in or anything like that. You're, you're you are you know going to use that as a springboard into the mid and late game. Uh, generally, you just take the third base at an actual base with gas rather than this kind of mineral only because mineral only bases <clears throat> not nearly as useful for the zerg in this matchup. Uh, so you know if you're going to be really aggressive with the two hatch muta anyway. You know that 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 should be able to keep your third base safe. So I'm I'm not sure how much I like this third hatchery positioning, but it might be actually earlier than when you could just get the third hatchery at a third base anyway. So that might bounce it out a little bit. I'm not really sure. Still think it would have been better just to man up and take a gas base. Anyway, we've got some marines chilling here. Nice little uh, depot positioning to um, provide a little bit of a choke point there. No bunker at the front though. Mong seems kind of comfortable without that, although he might build one in a second. He's gonna poke out a little bit with these marines. Uh, the mutas should be out by the time these guys even get across the map, so they're not really a threat. Might uh, cause Hero to build a sunken or two, but I'd be surprised if he built more than one sunken really. Oh no, he's gonna make two, okay. He's not gonna morph them in sunken though, he'll just leave them as creeps, and that's, that's the correct thing to do. So that was a good little scare um, from Mong. And in the meantime, looks like Hero doing a bit of a uh, zergling spread outside the natural. So he's going to be able to see whether the Marines actually move out or not. Um, and looks like the Mews are out now anyway, so it doesn't doesn't really matter. But you know, these these lanes are going to give him a good sense of the positioning of these uh, of these Marines. And looks like oh man, this could be a beautiful spot to actually attack them. Um, that is a line of sight blocking bridge, so if the marines actually walk onto that bridge, they will basically just have zero vision of anything. Um, in the meantime, it looks like the mutas are going straight into the main base, actually going to ignore the marine force, and oh man, there's only one turret in the back of the main. This could actually be a big mistake here. Mong moved out very, very far from his main base, I think just trying to force Hero to engage his marine force, uh, rather than go straight into the main, but it looks like Hero just completely ignored that and went into the main anyway. And looks like the Marines are coming back now. One Muta does fall, but they've done a decent amount of damage already. Getting that one turret that was in the main, getting a few SCV kills, denying further turrets at the top here. I don't know what the hell that SCV is doing and why it didn't even die. Um, and in the meantime, gonna keep poking around here, doing more damage. It looks like there's also not that many turrets at the natural, just a single one kind of on the left side of the mineral line. Um, I'm a little bit surprised Mong is, has really allowed this much damage to happen. I say allowed because he scouted the 2-H Muta, you know, completely early. He knew exactly what was coming. He had all the time in the world to prepare for it and uh, and didn't seem to prepare that much. Maybe getting a bit overconfident in his marine uh, positioning and control. To be fair, it's not been too bad here, but um, here is still doing more damage than, uh, than he possibly should be. In the meantime, of course, he is droning up behind this, as you can see. Uh, getting his economy going, probably going to be getting that uh, Hydra Den for the Lurker upgrade if he hasn't gotten it already. And, uh, ooh, look at that, look at the minimap, there was actually a scan at that top right base, so it looks like uh, Mong actually wasn't sure where the third base would be. Um, I think there was actually a scan at the bottom left gas base as well, because he had an SCB check up here at the top left gas, didn't realize the hatchery was on the other side, and so he scanned the other gas bases. It doesn't see them there, so... I guess Mong knows that there's no uh, additional gas base here. The Marines will be able to walk over and stop the drones from mining for a little bit, but they obviously won't be able to jump across the minerals and kill the hatchery. Um, but depending on the reaction time, they could get a couple of drones. Yeah, it looks like just two drones will fall. The drones are just going to wait now for the mutas to come back and deal with this. But you see, this is going to relieve a lot of the pressure on Mong's main base. Um, the mutas forced to fly all the way back across the map, engage the Marines, and even then, you know, the Marines' force is pretty scary. It doesn't look like there's actually that many mutas left. Okay, it looks like here is going to make a couple more. Um, making a lot of sunkens. Was it just me or did I not see a Hydra Den? I mean, surely he's not actually going straight Hive here. I think it's more likely that I just missed it, but he could he could be doing that. He is making a lot of sunkens actually. That's another indication. All those sunkens at the natural 
Plus the fact that I didn't see <laughs> the hydrogen means it's a little bit suspicious. But it's gonna be kind of hard without a third gas though. It's gonna be a little bit difficult, I think. Maybe not. I'm not really sure. Because if you skip lurkers and you don't make that many mutas, you save quite a bit of gas actually. Because lurkers are really, really gas heavy. They're, they're basically 125 gas a piece. So like, it's 25 for the Hydra. And then an extra 100 gas to make the lurker. So they're actually really, really gas heavy. Um, in the meantime, we got two ports coming up for Maul. Going for the, the uh, two port vessel, the SK Terran style. And looks like, oh, go, Mew's going back to the main. There are three turrets here now. I'm not actually sure where the Marine Force is, though. It looks like the Marine Force is wandering across the map. They're trying to run back now. But, uh, oh man, it looks like a mass repair on the turret actually is going to uh, going to keep that alive and do a lot of damage to these Mutas. Oh man, the Mew is not having quite enough DPS to force that down fast enough. And the Marines will get back in time, so doing a bit more damage there. Um, and it looks like, oh no, 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 Hero's not paying attention. Oh god, that was not good. Losing two mutas, they're taking a lot of damage on the rest. He's going to come in here. Looks like the vessels are actually still quite a ways away. Um, that feels a little bit slow to me. So I'm not quite sure what's going on there for the for the first vessel to be this low. But okay, looks like there are some hydras now. Um, so it's not going to be it's not going to be any kind of crazy zerg. It would be a little bit a little bit strange, I think. Um, just made those sunkins because he was a little bit scared. Uh, the nice thing about this is though that you know he's basically only having to defend this single point here at his natural because his uh, his base at the top left is, is is inaccessible by ground, so he doesn't even have to focus. You know, like normally on another map you would have to focus on two points on your defending your third and your natural, and if the Terran kind of bounces back and forth between those, it's a little bit an annoying. But in this case, it's a lot easier. Although having said that, the hero has now taken the uh, gas base just below his main. Now, Mong did actually block that earlier with a random marine killing the drone there, but it looks like uh, that's being taken right now. Oh, and the few random marines and medics getting uh, taken down here. I thought there were more marines in this group, but I don't know. I guess they got killed off earlier or something. Anyway, oh, it looks like more marines running up now. I hope that wasn't just a miscontrol or something and he just forgot them there because... That was a lot of medics and not many marines, and now he's like really, really marine heavy. So uh, quite possibly some kind of uh, weird control error there, or some miss hotkeying. Anyway, looks like a couple of dropships gonna come over here. The Overlord's gonna see it, but the thing is, the the uh, the way the map is structured, it's pretty easy to just do this, which is kind of elevator the the marines into the main. So the mute is gonna try and block. He's gonna try and bomb it. He's got oh, he's got a pair of scourge. He does grab the second one. That was actually a really good grab there. That one hadn't actually unloaded anything yet. Um, or I guess it looks like he actually loaded unloaded one marine. Meanwhile, it looks like the marine's gonna try and go after the spire. Seems unlikely they'll get it, even with good micro. They don't even have a medic to to heal them up. Yeah, so. Doesn't even quite get the spire. Drop is uh, is a bit of a failure, and now he was in a pretty good spot here. I don't see a third command center yet for Mong. Um, he's really gonna have to think about getting one. One nice thing for Mong at least is that he can do the same thing as Hero and take the inside, uh, take the base at the bottom right on the inside. So uh, so Hero won't really be able to attack it. Um, and and having the mineral only is actually a lot more useful for the Terran than the Zerg in this matchup, I think, um, because just when you go for bio, you're mainly eating up minerals. <coughs> But that is quite a few lurkers here, and this is really gonna, really gonna test Mong's control. Oh man, Mong actually just has like no army here. Hero must have a massive supply lead. What is going on, Mong? Mong is looking in horrible shape right now. I didn't realize how big a difference in the army is. There's like almost one lurker per marine. This is horrible. I was gonna say, you know, when you go SK Terran, you don't have siege tanks to fall back on against lurkers. Oh my God, these marines! <laughs> run, run! Oh God, run! Run! Oh, looks like uh, the Lurkers are in a bit of a funky position there, so the three at the front get taken down. Nice control here from Mong. See, this is exactly what he needs to do, because he has no siege tanks uh, to rely on to help deal with these Lurkers, but now he's forced back into his natural. He has no more space to do fancy micro like this. He's just going to be forced to uh, to fight these Lurkers head up, but look at this hero just throwing away everything here against the bunkers. He's going to have enough, I think, to break it down. SCV's coming in to repair. A lot of Lurkers have fallen here. But it's probably going to be enough with the Ling reinforcements. I think I don't think Mon can hold this any longer yet. This, there were just too many lurkers. It was a really costly attack here for Hero. Very inefficient. But when you have such a numbers advantage, it just doesn't really matter. And uh, and Mon is is basically dead right now. 
So, uh, so yeah, despite some pretty solid anti-lurker micro there at the end, Mong is now stuck inside his main base. Um, natural is all lifted off, you know, Hero's on 4 base now. Hero's actually taking the other side of the top left so he can get the gas as well. This is just, uh, it's just going very badly for Mong, and this is a pretty interesting result to me, you know? I think a lot of people expected Mong to take this match, I certainly did. Uh, even though Hero, I think, overall is a higher caliber, caliber player, in this matchup specifically, Mong, uh, or I would give the advantage to Mong. Um, now, of course, this is best of five, or at least I assume it is. So, you know, down one game is still uh, certainly fine. But, uh, but this definitely shows Hero is not just kind of going to roll over and die because it's CBT. This is actually really good. Anyway, we're going to have a breakdown attempt here. And by breakdown, I mean there's there's lurkers there. I don't know what he's doing. I think uh, did he just get tricked because those lurkers are stacked? There's more than one lurker in that stack, I'm pretty sure. Oh, he landed the command center to draw the fire out, but then but then Hero paid attention and attacked properly. I mean, look at those spikes. I did Hero seriously fake? Surely Mong must have seen him stacking the lurkers. I, I don't understand how that happened. Look at that. There's like four lurkers stacked on one spot there. And, and, and that takes time, right? Like, surely Mong saw him doing that and knew that was there. I don't know why he tried to run down there. Did he really think that Hero just left one lurker there and he could run down? Anyway, GG for Mong. Hero takes game number one. And, uh, and, and didn't really look at all uncomfortable in the game at any point. I mean, you know, Mong tried to, tried to push back the 2 h mute a little bit with his Marines. Didn't really do anything. And uh, and that was that. I wonder if the um, the architecture of the map also helped a little bit because I'm thinking about the marine positioning of Mong's um, during the initial mute harass, and he kind of kept getting stuck like uh, on the uh, left side of his main, kind of just outside it. So kind of he tried to position his marines. In